Hi guys, I wanted to go through what you're going to see on the next few slides. I will leave the slides up for you so that you can go through on your own pace um, and look at some of the things more closely. Um, but a few of these things I thought was worth going through together. Uh, this first map is called a Choropleth map. A Choropleth map is a map that uses coloring or shading to show differences in statistics. For example, in the top left hand corner map you'll see there, uh, you'll see shades of red and yellow and gray. This map shows the population of the United States based off of religious preference. So in the southeast corner, we have a lot of red there. Those people are primarily Baptist. Um, and if you look at the larger of the three USA maps or the three maps there, uh, you'll see this one is a population per square mile by state. Uh, so states like uh, New Jersey, Massachusetts, uh, are more populated per square mile than states like Idaho or Nevada or Wyoming. Um, so we can gain information about these places based off of coloring or shading uh, that they show here. This is called a Choropleth map. Uh, the next one's kind of a fun one. It's called a cartogram. A cartogram is a map according to population or any statistic rather than land area. Now, typically it is population, but it can be anything. So here is what we see some examples of. The map on the left is land area map. We're used to seeing these types of maps all of the time. But we see on the right is a population cartogram. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit closer here, see what we have. Uh, what this shows is this shows all of the countries in the world based off of population. You can see that China and India and even Japan are very large in comparison to what they look like in real life. Um, the United States isn't too out of whack. Uh, but then look at places like Australia. Uh, Australia is very small in comparison to real life. So what they're showing here is how many people live in each one of these countries versus how much land area is in each of these countries. And again, cartograms are typically population-based, but they can be any statistic. Here's one of bottled water consumption. You can see Europe specifically, as well as uh, the entire Western Hemisphere, Mexico, Brazil, the United States. We drink a lot of bottled water. Africa, uh, not so much. Um, here is one based off of poverty. Uh, and you can see the United States is very small, Australia very, very small, um, but most of Africa is quite large here, India quite large, because this is places where poverty is widespread. Europe uh, is almost non-existent here. Uh, here's all the meat eaters of the world. See, the United States and Europe are very, very large. Uh, Africa almost non-existent. Military spending, who spends the most on their military? The United States is clearly king here. Japan spends quite a bit of money on their military. Uh, CO2 emissions, who is causing the world's uh, pollution problem? Uh, and this is no surprise, the developed countries of the world like the United States and China and Japan uh, and the European countries as well. South Africa is quite large here. Alcohol consumption. Uh, what's interesting about this one uh, is the area of the world that we refer to as the Middle East. Technically, it is called uh, Southwest Asia and North Africa. Uh, but what we refer to as the Middle East is almost non-existent on this map because most of the people who live there practice Islam. And one of the steps of Islam is that people do not drink alcohol. And so very little alcohol consumption in those places, a lot of alcohol consumption in other places. Um, GDP stands for gross domestic product. These are the most productive countries of the world. Anyway, I hope this little video helped to kind of illustrate what these different types of maps mean and what we're looking at on these next few slides. And I'll leave these slides up so that you can go through on your own pace, but I'm hoping this was worthwhile to go through these together.